Well, the experience of being recorded every day is, is crazy. They had the cameras in our house for six weeks, for 12 hours a day. Always had to have us mic'd and they never wanted to miss any conversation or any moments between us. So it got kind of kind of taxing. Like emotionally afterwards, we just, we needed a rest afterwards. It was just so crazy. Just having your whole life out there for the world to see, kind of crazy. Being recorded all the time gets kind of frustrating. I remember one time we had a long day before. They had been there for like 12 hours. And I woke up and to a camera in my face. I was sleeping in my bed, woke up, there's a camera right there. Like, goodness <laughs> gracious. But I mean, you can't, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. Man, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But you know, you get used to it. It's not, it's not too bad. It's a blessing, actually. Oh uh, man, being recorded all the time for me, it was challenging because uh, they made us wear these mics. We was mic'd up and um, sometimes when, when they weren't shooting, we still had the mics on. <laughs> you know, I felt a little awkward. Felt like I was wearing a wire or something, you know, that's not my style, so it wasn't, it wasn't the business. Man, you know, recording every day for me was like a little frustrating like Jared Tibb just because I like to just dip off every now and again, like be at the house chilling, I'll just get in my car and just go. And they'd be like, where are you going? Where are you going? Who are you going with? Blah, blah, blah. Like, nah. <laughs> I wanted to go up to the corner store. It was like, we about to follow you right quick. Oh, I was my like, goodness. Just for snackage? It, just, <laughs> it ended up being an hour ordeal. Yeah. Right. I would have been back already. <laughs> <laughs> being videotaped on BET for me was fun. Being with my brothers and my fam. But, uh, you know, I remember this one time. Because usually we got stuff popping, you know what I'm saying? Every day we either play games, if we ain't arguing, we balling, we, you know, we chilling with some girls or whatever. But there was this one, just like Jake said, this one particular day, I just wanted to go in my room and watch a movie, you know what I'm saying? So I was laying in my bed in my boxers and one of the BET reps came in like, yo, what's up, man? Where was all the action at? Mm -hmm. Ain't no action, nigga. I'm watching a <laughs> movie right now. Get out. <laughs> but it was cool, though. It was, it was a positive experience. Thank you, BET. <laughs> Yeah, the reality show was 99, probably 99.9% .9 accurate. Um, of course, our family does have drama like that all the time, even with the cameras not there. But for me personally, I won't speak for my whole family. The only thing I think, I don't want the world to get it twisted. Of course, I drink, I get my drink on, but there was a particular scene where me and my brother was fighting. And it kind of looked as if I was drinking right before we rehearsed, and I never do that. I want to get that straight right now. When it comes to business, when me and my brothers rehearse or about to go on stage, I don't never drink alcohol. That was I do that on my downtime. So other than that, it was what y'all think? Yeah, it was accurate. Very accurate. Yeah. Well, when you watch yourself on TV, it's always something that you learn about yourself. Like, like, dang, I walk like that. I actually, I sound like that. It's really, it's really weird. But I guess everything that we went through with our dad, that I learned a lot about myself and about my brother. There, there's certain things that you hear that you never even knew were there. So I think we all learned a little something about each other that we didn't know before. Even though we know, like, damn near everything there is to know about each other, we learned a little something about each other that we didn't know. Mm -hmm. What I learned about myself just from watching the show, um, I know, you know, the world knows that I, you know, I gotten into trouble and all that, and I was a little thug when I was smaller. I think that people kind of are intimidated by me sometimes. I, I get that from, from people. And I just want to let everybody know that, you know, I'm a, I'm a nice guy and you know, I'm not a thug anymore. You can approach me and say hi and, you know, I'll give you a hug and smile. <laughs> One thing, slightly unpleasant thing that I learned watching myself on TV is I have this quirky little voice crack that happens. When I talk for an extended period of time, my voice cracks like I'm going through puberty again. So I learned that. <laughs>